you feel it in your chest. Your jaw clenches. And before you even think, you say something you regret. Later you tell yourself, I wasn't thinking straight. You're right. What just happened wasn't a mood swing. It was a neural hijack, a hostile takeover from one part of your brain that doesn't care about logic, strategy or consequences. Imagine your brain like a company. At the top is the prefrontal cortex, the CEO. Rational, calm, good with spreadsheets. In the basement, the amygdala, security guard. Hypervigilant, paranoid, fast on the trigger. Most of the time, the CEO is in charge. But the moment something feels threatening, even emotionally, that security guard hits the alarm. And when that happens, the CEO gets locked out of the office. This is what neuroscientist Joseph Ledoux and psychologist Daniel Goleman call an amygdala hijack. The science of the hijack. When your brain perceives a threat, real or imagined, the amygdala sounds the alarm. It overrides slower, rational circuits and activates the sympathetic nervous system. Heart rate rises, muscles tense, vision narrows, cortisol and adrenaline flood your body. This was perfect for avoiding tigers. But in a boardroom, a text message or a relationship, this response can sabotage your life. And here's the scariest part. This entire process happens in about 12 milliseconds before your conscious brain even knows what's going on. The experiment. Let's go deeper into the lab. In a famous neuroscience experiment by Joshua Green at Harvard, participants underwent fMRI brain scans while being presented with two versions of a moral dilemma, the classic trolley problem. In one version, you flip a switch and a train changes tracks, killing one instead of five. In the other, you physically push a man off a bridge to stop the train. Same outcome, different method. But the brain responded very differently. Result? Logical decisions activated the prefrontal cortex. Emotional decisions, like pushing the man, lit up the amygdala and insula, triggering discomfort and hesitation. This proved that even in moral reasoning, emotions don't just influence us, they often drive us. Real life implications. So what does this mean for you? Anytime you've sent a risky text out of frustration, overreacted to feedback, made a major decision during an emotional high, you may have been operating under a hijack. And the danger? Your emotional brain is confident, but not always accurate. Can you prevent a hijack? You can't always stop a hijack from starting, but you can stop it from taking over. Here's how. 1. Label the emotion. I'm angry or I'm scared. This activates the logical brain and quiets the amygdala. 2. Pause and breathe. 6. Deep breaths can reduce cortisol and restore access to your prefrontal cortex. 3. Reframe the threat. Ask, is this a tiger or just an uncomfortable moment? These small actions buy you time. And time is what the logical brain needs to come back online. Final takeaway. Emotions aren't the enemy. They're signals. But when they hijack your thinking, they can lead you off course, fast. So the next time you feel the heat rising, recognize the hijack. Pause. And take back the controls. That's not just emotional intelligence. That's thinking like a scientist with your own brain as the subject.